Hey guys, welcome to Airport CEO, episode 1. My name is Froby, and we're going to be doing this series on Extreme. We start with a mere $500,000. Events are going to be often, so this is going to be an adventure. Let's begin, shall we? Let's start the introduction here, because I always forget what I'm doing. Yeah, next, next. Dashboard. Check emails. Welcome to your airport. Thank you for our last meeting. I hope you like your new job. I know it isn't much at this point, but hopefully you'll do better than the last person who tried to build our towns at Proud Airport. Well, the last person didn't do anything, obviously. You got a lot of work ahead of you, so you better get to it. I can't give you any tips because I really don't know how to run an airport. But please let me remind you that you have a budget to keep, and we count on you to get this place making a profit. Good luck, and we'll talk to you soon. Here's the most important thing you need to know. And a bunch of instructions on how it works. We at the city office want you to get, fly get a flying start. So I've asked a few people with inside knowledge of the airport operations to contact you via email over the day so we make sure to watch your email inbox. That is all. Best of luck to you, Greg. Alright, that's where our money is. Operations. Fantastic. It's our flight panel. So, they want us to get started with an airfield. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and sign us uh, some contractors. And let's go ahead and deploy some. I ain't going to do all of them at once. I only have 500,000 to work with. So let's do about 50. Deploy. All right. Now let's go ahead and get us a runway. Nice little grass runway to get us started. 100,000 right off the bat. That's a heck of a start. And you know what? I don't like that placement. I'm going to redo that up here. I want to have this area down here for some stuff. Get us a grass entrance and exit to the runway. And now we need some parking. We're going to do it just like this. One, two, three, four, and five. We need a taxiway by five all the way down. Five. And just like that, I would say we get our builders going. I forgot I had the game pause there. And we're down to 209,000 just like that. Already spent 300000 Here come the contractors and some supplies. So, let's speed this up a little bit. And I already got that. Wait for the construction to finish. I do apologize. This first episode and probably the first couple are going to be a little slow. 
as we don't have anything and we have very very little money so we are going to have general aviation let's see my name is Anita interestingly enough that's my mother's name and we met briefly over at the mayor's office anyway as you know once every year the global aviation association that's a mouthful comes together and votes on which of the world's top ranking airport is that is awarded the airport of the year award which of course the city really wants our new investment to do really well so please try and win that award for us winning the award is um, fairly easy if you just put your mind to it You'll simply need to maintain an average airport rating of at least 95% over three years with a lot of passenger and aircraft throughput. Yes, some would say that's incredibly difficult, but not for you, especially not with that thorough recruitment process we had. Here's a full GAA committee checklist for choosing Airport of the Year candidates. Average airport rating of at least 95 over three years, yearly passenger throughput of at least 10,000, and a yearly turnaround of at least 150 aircraft. Well, I think we can do that. Best of luck, Anita. We'll see how many years it takes us to actually win that award. If we ever win that award. Um, one thing I do want to check is my options and gameplay settings. Passenger flight ratio 100%. That's what I want. Get us that extra cash coming off the plane. And how's construction going over here? Still a little, a little slow. I should probably just deploy the rest of them, but now that we're this close to being done, there's really going to be no point to. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just do it. That way I can build whatever else needs built. So, we're going to deploy the max. Get the rest of them over here. As I say that, the runway completes, of course. This one's going to be entrance only. This one's going to be exit only whenever it completes. We do, however, I forgot to do this. Anytime I play this game, I always forget something. City skylines, I forget the pipes. Almost all the time. So those are good and up and running. Now we just need a small ATC which I am going to put right here. All right, this is going to allow general aviation, which it does. All right, that is done. Let's, uh, Open the runway. Oh, don't have the ATC. It's not done yet. Next. First flight. We need to open that airport. Airport open. Alright. Now let's open the runway. And start accepting these flights. And they're already coming in. First. First flight right here. Look at that. Okay, now, now I need um, need to get some uh, work roads in here, and I'm on the wrong tab. There we go. It's this guy, public road, coming off. Let's get that gate in here. Have the 
this. Work roads. So let's uh, go right here. Cross the taxiway, and it connects right up with these. And one thing I need to look into now is fuel, because I want to get the av gas in here for um, for these planes. And just like that, we'll extend our work thing here. We'll go ahead and uh, can we get the contract for that yet? No we can't. Um, vehicles can't do that yet either. Oh yes we can right here. Let's let's get two. Airport does not meet requirements. Ah vehicle checkpoint and vehicle depot. We have the checkpoint but we don't have the depot. Um, it's going to be in this one. I don't want a vehicle depot. We'll just use a small service parking lot right now. Let's put it right here. Let that build up. Um, I am going to go ahead and dismiss all but 20 of these guys. I do apologize if the music and the sounds of this game are too loud. I will try to have that fixed for the next episode if it is the case. I looks like I might be able to get a fuel contract now. Let's check that out. Yes, right here, Abbey Fuel. Let's go ahead and I think that is gonna be the best one. At one thirty five, whereas this is one sixty one and one fifty eight, so yes this is gonna be the best one. Let's go ahead and sign that. And order our two vehicles. And we're down to 160,000. So we still have a little bit of money to play with, but you gotta keep in mind we will have to repair the runways and the stands. Um, new product has arrived. Oh, there they are. There's our fuel trucks. So we have those. We are now going to turn on Avgas. I don't think we have received our first. Here it comes. So this is going to take a chunk out of our uh, money. Fairly big chunk, about 40 grand. Now it's raining. How are we doing over here? Ah, uh, yes, the land animals. Um, it's not that big a deal now, but I kind of just want to nip this now while it's fresh on the brain. So, down, over, all the way up. Come over to here, so I know where where I'm going to. There we go. Get that one right there. Now we just need a gate. Put it. We're gonna put this gate. Right about here. And all right, got our fuel supply. That's great. Next, five 
Five aircraft need refueled, which I'm sure we are making progress on that right now. There are 20 contractors going to work on this fence. Made a thousand bucks that last month, so progress. How close are we to the next one? Doesn't say, does it? Alright. So, while we wait on some of this, I've been watching people play games on YouTube for years. Oh, and we'll get back to that. Um, congratulations, you now know the basics of your airport. You can continue by expanding your airport for general aircraft, earning money from these services. Alternatively, you can expand your airport to handle commercial flights. Alright. So... It wants me to drag out the terminal foundation for this much, so it's going to be a while before we complete this. I don't want that big of a building right off the bat because the first thing I want to do is set up remote service. And I don't think I need that big of a building for that. So first what I need to do is get a room for my staff so I can hire a couple administrators. So I think we will do that. Just right. Oh, it's not an auto save there. Right there. Not sure how long that'll take with only you know, 20 people working on this fence, and the fence is only halfway around. I know this is a, a very large room for staff, but it's all temporary, and I wasted a little bit of money with that, probably. So, oh, I need a door. I just need a small door. Um, staff. Staff room. Oh, that's a staff zone. This is the room. Obviously, it's been a while since I've played. Um, let's do... One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And let's get us... Get the road extended out here. sidewalk to right here car stop now let's hire three administrators Filter, administrator, um, one, two, let's go with the orange, I don't want to be paying too much, I now have three administrators, let's do some R&D projects, um, well the first thing we'll have to do is the commercial license, and that's going to go at a fairly decent pace here. I'm not going to bother with decorations for this room right now, only because it's probably going to be moved and relocated sometime in the future. This is all temporary just to get cash flow in. 
eventually these five are probably going to become actual small stands and I may get some other stands up here for general aviation or I will put some more stands over here I really don't know I'm just kinda winging it right now I came in here without a plan probably not the smartest of moves playing on extreme difficulty but if this airport turns out to be a failure I'll know better next time to have a little bit of a plan so as we wait for that do we have any we do have a new email performance alert if you have hired a CFO okay yep. my name is Alejandro Tinto I work senior partner executive vice president that's a mouthful with management and anal analysis at Ascento Finance I'm reaching out to you because you've recently been appointed CEO of a new airport and I wanted to give you some brief instructions on performance reporting Following up on how your airport is doing is extremely important and something that is done through performance reports. There are four categories of performance reports including economy, rating, incident, and operations. Anita has already told you about the rating reports, so I will dive into the others. Here's how it's broken down. If you have a CFO hired, at the end of each business day, they will send you a report via email on your daily earnings and how you performed against yesterday. If you have a COO hired, at the end of each business day, they will send you a report on the number of incidents that occurred at the airport and other statistics, again, perhaps with some helpful tips on how you can improve. That is all you need to know for now. We at Ascento Finance hope you feel right at home in your new office. Best of luck. With pride in my work, Alejandro Tinto. Well, we are making money because we just went from 70,000 to 77,000 in that span of that email. So that is a plus, and it looks like we have gotten our commercial license, which means I am going to set this off on remote stand service. Which looks like that won't take all that much long, all that longer. <laughs> If I could speak. I'm the kind of person that does let my mouth get ahead of my brain, so if I say something that doesn't make sense, that's probably why. But anyways, I, like I mentioned earlier, I have been watching YouTube videos for years. Um, my favorite overall YouTuber when it comes to gaming is Conflict Nerd. Um, he just plays so many of the same games that I enjoy. He's hilarious most of the time. I, he was the first one that I ever subscribed to. But now I've got Conflict Nerd. I've got James Turner, um, Delay Designer, City Planner Plays, Zardus, $2.20. All those guys, almost every one of them played city skylines at one point and that's what I was really big into at one point and I still play it a lot but uh, so I just wanted to try my hand at it and here we are looking at building my airport and this is gonna be one crazy looking thing here so this is going to be our lobby. It's going to be a very freaky looking airport to start off with because we don't have a lot of money to play with. It's a, only $125 for that door. Basically, people are going to come in here. They are going to have their small stands. What does it say? Can handle check-in for any size flight. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and just plop one. Let's do four. I'm sure that's overdoing it a little bit, but that's all right. Um, and we're going to have our little security area. So let's go ahead and plop this down here and get rid of these walls. And plop our little security zone in. Is that going to be big enough? I really don't remember. Oh yeah, look at that. And we can always expand if needed. And so now we have two of those. We have four of those. Now 100% passengers, this might not be enough at all. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Now we need the remote stand area. So that's. I have 32,000. So this. Right here is going to be all that we have. And that's going to demolish that wall, but that's all right. We can always put in another one. Just like that. Expand our security zone. And I do need a wall over there as well. I don't know how I didn't see that. And now we're down to $10,000. Luckily, we still have a slight income. So, what I'm going to do here is put in our remote stands once I remember where they are. Bus stop. I'm guessing it's over here no. I guess I should look and see if we completed that. We have not. That'd be why I can't find it. We're at 81% on that. Um, I do need an exit point. So we will do it this way. Put an exit right there. There we go. That should be plenty. Get rid of these walls. Mayday, mayday. Well, there's really not much... I can do about that right now unless I maybe no I don't have anything to give them so there's nothing I can do about that unless he's just gonna come use one of these what did that say um, oh it's gone I closed it I shouldn't have done that that's all right Find a suitable hangers. Wow. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem now, isn't it? Object is broken. Well, let's just fix that. Okay. I'm just going to ignore that plane for now and we'll see if it disappears because there's not much I can do about it at this point in time. I'm sure that will hurt me, but that's okay. I need 
need one of these. No, I need this. This is what I need. So we're going to stick it right here. Right here is where we're going to go. So let's do that. Checkpoint. And we're going to add another wall in. I believe we got our remote stands. Let's go ahead and uh, get that built. And I th think fifty percent handled. Well, it's less than or better than zero. So I can't complain too much. What's the matter with you? Are you stuck? Alright, there we go. So, we just got our remote sand service. So with that being done, I'm going to go ahead and get our jet fuel started. And as we get that going... I think that we will go ahead and call that for episode one. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. If you liked what you see, please like and subscribe. Um, leave me any helpful, constructive criticism that you may have. Again, this is my first actual attempt at anything for YouTube other than watching. Um, I did have fun. I enjoyed myself, and I hope you guys did too. I apologize if it was slow. I apologize if you didn't like it. Um, that's entirely up to you. But again, if you did, please like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more. Episode 2 should be out, hopefully within the next week. Uh, thanks, and take care.